Hope you enjoyed that range session. I, I felt like it didn't really need a voiceover to it because you guys know what I'm working on. As you can see, just hitting sets of five, trying to make sure that I spend enough time in between shots to replicate the time in between shots that you have on the golf course. And things are feeling good. Swing is feeling really good. And I, I, I don't know whether you can tell through the video, obviously you guys watch me swing a golf club a lot, but to me it feels a lot more natural. I'm just wondering whether you guys think it looks a lot more natural as well. Certainly hitting the ball a lot better. Strike is loads better. It's funny because I thought I was striking it over the last like one or two years, but because I was so steep due to hitting so many stingers and doing ridiculous ball flight videos, um, I got used to that feeling of smacking into the ground after, you know, hitting the mat or on the golf course taking huge divots after. So being able to hit like three irons and actually pick it off the mat with a shallow attack angle, you forget what it feels like to strike a golf ball. It's so strange. So getting that feeling back is amazing. My long game's feeling in really good shape now. So the other thing I want to talk about is now how I'm structuring my days. Now, my goal is to practice each part of my game for 45 minutes. In one of the previous videos, you heard me talk about balance between everything I do. I do do a lot. You know, I, I work pretty much 14 hours a day and I have the one day off a week with Jenny and Reggie on the Sunday. So my plan here on really going up, lid's in good shape as you can see. So the plan practice wise is to practice each part of my game for 45 minutes a day. As we get closer to the season next year, not sure whether I'm gonna be playing competitive golf next year or not, but I'd like to maybe up it a little bit, but I don't really wanna up it to like the six or seven hour mark. I just don't feel like I need it. At the moment, I feel like my mental game needs to improve more than the physical and the technical game does. So 45 minutes on the short game area, 45 minutes on the putting green, and 45 minutes maybe to an hour on the driving range, seeing as that's what needs to be kept in check and fine tuned. And then other than that, it's really gonna be playing golf and filming and growing the YouTube channel, obviously. So I'll be able to make a little bit more content and there's not so much pressure on myself to go out there and practice because I'm not playing tournament golf. The goal is just to consistently start shooting under par around the golf courses in Devon. So I feel a lot more relaxed in that sense and um, I am working on my mental game quite a bit. I'm currently listening to an audiobook, Zen Golf, which you guys have probably heard of. And it's starting to make me realize how out of sorts my mental game has got over the past two years from, I think, sheer frustration of constantly changing things and things not working. But now things are starting to work. I think once I get this mental game in check, um, I'll start to play some good golf again. So that's my hour done on the range. Now on the short game area, just gonna go around with three balls, practicing from different positions. And then I'm gonna do par 18 and then spend half hour on the putting green. Okay, I'm about to do par 18. It's the first time I've done it in probably a month or so. I'm gonna go around with just a 58. Um, everywhere is so firm around this green anyway. There's so many slopes on it that I need to use a 58 the majority of the time to actually access any of the pins. I think last time I shot either 20 or 21. I have to look back through my notebooks, but before I do that, one question for you guys is, how many hours a week do you practice? Or are you someone who only plays on the weekend? Or are you a junior and you're on summer holidays and you're gonna be at the golf club for like 11 hours a day or something ridiculous? Be interesting to know the difference between all of you who actually watch the channel. Um, Cause I know there's a broad spectrum of people who do watch, people who are obviously in full-time jobs, people who are self-employed, plenty of professional golfers as well who watch the channel, including Victor Hovland, believe it or not. Hi Victor, if you're watching. Okay, so 21 on par 18, so not overly bad. To be honest, I'm quite happy with it, considering I haven't done it for a while. Now I'm gonna go over to the putting green, just gonna do a five foot circle and just work on visualizing the ball going into the hole and making a solid stroke and sticking to routine. Um, and then that's it for today. Let's back home and edit. I'll leave you with this outro of me doing some putting. Thank you all very much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
leave a comment down below on how many hours you practice a week and like the video if you enjoyed it. See you soon. <laughs>